Very good morning to you and welcome to uh, your favorite program, Stopping Medical Tourism. I am Joseph Kadri, and of course today we are going to be looking at a deformity that most times twists the leg out of shape. You know, at times it takes it in, takes it, you know, sideways. We're talking about club foot, the causes, the treatment, and the assurances we have when it is treated. Can it be done here? And we know, as we have been told, it can only be done through surgery and be done by professionals. Do we have them here? Well, it's the crux of what we are going to be looking at today, and we'll be doing it through the eyes of a consultant orthopedic surgeon. Of course, it, he really fits in, and he has been the one who most time come on this program to tell us all that we need to know about some ailments such as uh, uh, such ailment and, and deformity such as club foot. Uh, Dr. Christopher Otabo is here with me. Very good morning. Thank you. You're welcome. Good morning. Yeah, club foot, twisted foot. What is it all about? Okay. Good morning, viewers. Well, let me start by correcting the impression that club foot can only be treated through surgeries. That's not correct. It's only a very minute percentage that would require surgery to correct uh, club foot deformity. Over 99% of club foot cases will be treated through simple manipulation and casting. What is club foot? Um, <clears throat> you see, the, 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 when the foot is deformed at birth, mostly, and though we have acquired club foot, but most of the cases, the children are born with it. And a mother notices that the, the feet of the children are turned inwards, you know, like a club, you know. So that's what uh, is, well, that's why it's referred to as club foot. And the leg is usually smaller than, the feet are usually smaller than normal and then they are twisted inwards. And there's what we call adduction, okay? They, they twist towards the center and then, okay, backward too, such that instead of the feet being on the ground, walking like normal human being, is twisted, then the instep is now what will be on the ground if it is not corrected. So that, that's club foot. And most parents who have children with club foot, they understand this. and. It is usually recognizable at birth. The midwife would see it, and the parents will notice it. And but what is the cause? Is it lifestyle uh, no. of the woman during pregnancy? No, but is, it, is it hereditary? Yes. Is it maybe at the point of uh, you know putting to bed? Is it caused by prolonged labor? What really is? Um, yes. So much. So so many studies have gone on to postulates about the causes of club foot. But nobody can say for sure what is the cause of club foot. Um, there are some studies that, sh that suggest that the when there's a tight womb, the tightness of the womb, when the baby is in the womb, prevents the legs, the, the feet from taking the normal shape, so it becomes club. Others have su suggested that there's some form of viral infection that prevents the normal formation of, of the, the feet mm -hmm. of the child. Um, there is no clear-cut hereditary uh, link with, uh, in the causation of club foot deformity. But um, in, in some families, you can have one or two cases, but you don't have it in all the children. And the fact that the, the parents had club food mm. does not in any way suggest that the children will have it. Right. Okay. Yes, so, so there's no link. So there's no clear hereditary link to club food. Yes. Mm. But what is important about club food deformity is recognizing it on time and prompt treatment. But it, it, can it be recognized even when um, the woman is still pregnant? Yes. Why in the womb, with good ultrasound and MRI scan, 
the uh, club food deformity can be recognized. Mm. But there's nothing that can be done about it. Whether you recognize time. yes. Whether you recognize it or not, there's nothing to there's nothing to worry about. Is you, you will simply wait for the baby to be born and then right from the day of birth of the baby, something can be done. And within a short time, usually within uh, three months maximum, the, 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 the feet are normal again. I wish we, we could call some um, of the we'll pictures. get some of those, those pictures that, um, club feet that um, of course, um, will show what club uh, foot is and, yeah. you know, on the treatment where um, it was treated and at what cost. Uh, that uh, clip is available. Uh, director can uh, bring it on for us to, of course, see and show our viewers what really we are, are talking about. Okay, uh, now you talked about the fact that it is not only uh, um, surgery that is required to, to correct it. You, you yeah. said it can be cast. Yeah, most, cast most, most club foot deformities will be corrected without surgery. Usually, uh, six sessions of manipulation and casting will you bring... You mean by manipulation? Yes. And so, like, so like okay, like yes. Now, now, you know the feet is twisted um, inward, so the both the surgeon and the mother are taught what to do. Uh, sorry, both the, the the surgeon does it, and the mother is also taught what to do. Um, what is done is you you manipulate the feet and push it back to towards the normal direction, and there's a sequence to do that. Once you do that, and the the tissues become supple then you put a POP cast or a diner cast on the leg and then hold it in, in the best position that it can be at that time. Once you do it the first time, there will be some improvement. You do it again. So you, you repeat that circle until the tissues, the, the tight tissues become stretched and they begin to assume the normal shape until you get the the feet in the proper position. And once you get the feet in the proper position, you cast it. Okay, and that would, once it's, it has taken the normal shape, then that would be the end of treatment. But after the casting, the mother is also taught when the baby is being, when the mom is bathing the baby, it will also continue to manipulate the leg until. She, she sees what she desires, and then um, the type of shoe that the child will be wearing. Even if the child is not walking, yes, the child, the, 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 a, a special type of shoe is prescribed. But in the absence of that special club foot uh, sure. uh, shoe, uh, we can use firm shoes, and we, we turn, we, we turn the, the legs, the right for the left and the left for the right. That's the shoe. Yes, the shoe. <laughs> so you wear intentionally now. You mm. wear the right leg on the left. You le the right shoe on the left leg, mm. and the left shoe mm. on the right, right leg. So that will help also continue mm. with the process of stretching the leg into shape. Okay. Usually within six weeks and maximum three months, most club uh, foot deformity will be corrected. But in certain situations that the tissues are very tight. Like the severe club The very severe ones. Um, there will be a need for some minor surgeries. We we'll call it tenotomies. You, the very tight structures, you may have to puncture them so that it can, stretch, it can give. And lose. Yes. And then, but in very rare occasions, mm. you will need to operate to uh, surgically relieve those tight structures, especially on the inner part of the leg and at the back. So this is how to deal with um, club foods, normal club, club foods, foods, club foods at that the early are, stage. At the early stage that mm. are not too severe. Okay, now but, the, the picture you see yeah. on the screen is um, what we are talking about. Yes. Uh, this, this, this is a neglected club food. As you would see, mm. this is already an adult. It's a 14 years old boy. Mm. The, the, the club food was neglected. At best, this treatment would not have cost more than 15,000 naira from beginning to end to treat it.
mm. and the child will be normal. Mm. But the, he was neglected by his parents until he got to the point of walking, mm. and he was walking uh, with the feet like this until something happened. So what happened to this feet? <laughs> I, I understand that uh, what you are seeing now, that same boy is no longer uh, having that kind of uh, food that has been corrected and at a very, very subsidized cost, which was picked up by, by somebody. Now, what really happened after, of course, uh, this boy, a 14-year-old boy, was seen this way, and thereafter, uh, we are told that he can walk. Where was it done, okay. and how was it done? <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll tell you the story. You know, there's a parable that says that um, a stitch in time saves nine. And that, that, that so perfectly fits this, this boy's story. Because if, if he had um, been treated as a baby, 15, 20,000 naira, he, he, go, he walks away and he's fine. But because he was neglected, and then he grew up, the, skeletal, the skeleton was already forming in that situation. Mm -hmm. So it would require a lot more effort to get him to where, to where he is now. Mm -hmm. So, you know, apart from being a, a doctor, I'm also a pastor. Maybe you, you may not, many people don't know that about me. <laughs> so one day, um, members of my church were playing football. So I, I just took, I went to the, the, the uh, stadium to watch them play a competition. So wh where I was sitting, I saw that this young man, whose picture is there mm. now, Mm. He Can walked, we have the picture he, yes. again? He walked into mm. he walked into the stadium to to watch football. Mm. So I asked my personal assistant to call him. Can we have the picture again? Uh, and so he came, of course, walking upwardly, like mm. you know, was walking on the other side of the leg. Mm. So I asked him, I, I asked him a few questions. What class are you? How old are you? He said 14 years. I said, why why are you walking like this? He said his parents are poor. They couldn't uh, take him to the hospital. I was moved with compassion. Mm -hmm. And I told my, I, I gave him my phone number, and I told my personal assistant to bring him to my, the hospital, mm -hmm. Alliance Hospital. So the next day he came, I looked at them, him and his parents. They, they didn't really have the means. Mm -hmm. So I told him, I said, his name is Ishaya. I didn't even know whether he was a Christian or a Muslim. So I told him that I was going to treat him free of charge from the beginning to the end. So we started. We started with the manipulation and casting. That's the picture you are seeing now. That's the yes, casting. After, yeah, that's the casting. After you manipulate and stretch the leg and stretch it to an extent, then you put a cast to maintain it in that position. We did that about 15 times. And each time you manipulate and cast with this kind of uh, uh, with, with, no, with the extent of, mm. we'll put POP first and then put a diner cast. Mm. Each leg will be about 50,000 naira. So for the two, it's like 100,000 per manipulation. And, that was and we did that 15 time. times. Then after that, when we were satisfied that we were we had completed the manipulation, we had to now move to the surgery stage. And for the surgery stage, we use the latest technology that anywhere in the world you go to, that's what they will use. It's called the Elizarov device. We have it here. We have it here. In we, yes. We use it to correct the <laughs> severe deformity. If one's leg is short, you can lengthen it with that device. So many things. It's, a, it's such a versatile device. So we use it for both legs. Each leg would be like 1.8 million if, if you was to pay for it. So, and we fixed it, and we started manipulating and started correcting. And as I speak to you, both legs are normal, and he's walking with some f uh, support. Mm -hmm. That's the last Can picture. we see the picture of the air? Not and this the, one. The, the, let's see the other one. That the, the final he, he one. can walk with that. Yeah, um, so, so he's walking. Yes. yes. That's it. And now he's undergoing physiotherapy now. He has had about 30 sessions of physiotherapy. Because you need physiotherapy to bring it to light. And each session of physiotherapy is 5,000 there in, in, in Alliance Hospital. So you can see putting everything together. That's, uh, that's, that's over, over six, seven million. Yes, now. about that. And, but I'm so happy to see this young man stand like this. And he's walking. 
In the next one month, we're going to take out those frames that you see, the Elizaro frames, mm -hmm. and then the guy can go back to school. Wow. Doc, uh, um, well, uh, I'm sure that Nigerians <laughs> are watching <laughs> and they will definitely will marvel at your compassion, you know, having um, that boy, Ishaya, 14-year-old, who has club foot, you know, treated free of charge. And the cost of that is over six million, and you just put that. And that's what we are saying. It is electioneering time. What are we getting away from the usual? I uh, will construct road, I will build hospital, I will build market. You will be sure that there will be drugs in the hall. What about those that are, are, are deformed? I mean, let's see a situation whereby politicians too, philanthropists can also begin to pick up bills. You know, begin to send people, you know, not to abroad. We have them here, and that is a clear um, uh, evidence of what Nigerian doctors are doing when it comes to uh, some of these severe cases of of uh, de deformities. You know, uh, sorry, to j just a little diversion. Uh, last week we did four kidney transplants in Alliance Hospital, and, and, and they were discharged yesterday. You don't say. Yes, we got some talk surgeons, world class, to come from all over the world for kidney transplant. Yes, last week. And, and, and of course, this is one of the, mm. the leading cause of medical tourism yes. to, to India. Yes. Our so, target is to do at least 200 kidney transplants in a year. So the next batch of kidney transplant will be on the 18th of next month. 18th of August. Yes. Wow. wow. Well, um, it's just so, so interesting that we are getting these things done here in Nigeria, done in Abuja, and of course, Alliance Hospital is available for all of that. Now, from what he said about those um, that have children, you know, between zero and six months or, or nine months, and you want to correct that, I'm sure that you, you can't just do that on your own. You need um, some sort of um, direction, instruction to do that. And because of that, the line will be open. We'll open the line for you to call in. You have children, you have a child that has club food and is still very young, not up to uh, the age of Ishaya, or it's not, you're, you're, you're just trying to see how this, this can be done. The line will be open. You call in and tell us um, what the issue is, and I'm sure doctor will be here to direct you on how to address that situation. The doctor Otabo is here. He will tell you how to address that situation. Yeah, you don't just have to, because you have listened to him and you just want to go straight ahead to address the issue. You may just end up uh, worsening the issue. And because of that, the lines will be open for you to call in and tell us what you think about um, what we are talking about and how you can go about it. That way, you can be sure that you will not make mistake in trying to correct your child who already has club foot. Okay, um, Dr. the line is open. I'm sure I will, will be taking calls for those who want to ask questions on how to go about tackling the issue of club foot. Um, let's look at the assurance that when it is casted and done, um, it, 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 is, it will not be reversed. Okay. Um, for congenital deformities, mm -hmm. the, the, for those who were born with it, once... Hello. Hello. Good. Sorry, doctor. Good morning. Thank you, sir. Good morning. Your name and where are you calling from? Mrs. Oye Ola Olua, where are you calling from? Thank you so much. 
Thank you. Thank you. All right, sir. Mm. All right. Most club food deformities that is corrected in childhood, if after the correction they do all the needful that I discussed earlier, the mother continue to massage the leg and, um, and they use the proper shoe. Once the child starts walking, oh, oh, sorry, doctor, I have to be cutting here. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Your name and where you calling from? Uh, from uh, Malaba. Okay, quickly, what's your question or uh, comment? The first question, I just want to thank that doctor over there. Mm. I am watching the program and uh, shot I was surprised to see what a team in this country. Mm. May the almighty God continue to guide you and protect you, mm -hmm. my doctor. Amen. Amen. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank, thank, thank you so you, much. Thank you so much. Okay. All right. We, 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 we so, so club foot is easy to manage mm. when it is addressed on time. Mm. Yes. Yeah, so there's no worry. Any mother that has a baby with club foot, she can relax. Just come to a hospital. Come to Alliance Hospital you have, you have club foot. No, your you, child has They don't have to come to Alliance Hospital. Mm. Anywhere there's an orthopedic surgeon and it's cheap. With, in, with today, no matter mm. how expensive. Hello, good morning. Hello? Good morning. Your name, where are you calling from? Please, can you speak up? I can barely hear you. Abraham. Abraham, you are calling from where? The wonderful thing that I'm doing. I thought it was going to be a wisdom. Open the door to my shadow. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much, Mr. Abraham. Because uh, the line is still open, we just have a few minutes left on this program. You want to call in? And uh, ask your question or comments, please do. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning, sir. Good, mo good morning. Your name and where you calling from? Can you speak up? My name is Jose. I'm calling from Metama. Okay, uh, uh, you're calling from Metama. Your question? I just want to speak to Doctor. Okay, Doctor is listening. Thank you. 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 Thank <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you thank so you. much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, this is what we are we are talking about. You have many people around that have deformities. All you can do is to make sure you you just stretch out a happy hand to them. Hello. Good morning. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Hello? 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 <laughs> you call and you're not um, close to the phone. And um, the time is just running out. We just hope that someone someday can come increase this time. 30 minutes is not enough for this program. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Your name and where you calling from? My name is Innocent, I'm calling from Yali. Okay, Innocent, I'm calling from Zabi. Your comments. Thank you. He has been in my church. I, I, am a member of your church too. I thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank, you. thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Um, it's just um, commendation upon commendation, and of course that is what we are seeing here. Um, you don't really have to be in a position to 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 help. Uh, position of, uh, we call it a, a pointy position, elective position, whatever it is, you don't have to be there before you have. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Your name and where you calling from? My name is Ibrahim Abbasar. I'm calling from Airport Road. Ibrahim, calling from far away Airport Road. Your comments? Yes, sir. I just want to uh, I, I, uh, appreciate what uh, the doctor has already used. Mm. Well, those are the kind of Or help to buy the 
Thank you so much. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. We do like thank you so three free surgeries like this every month. Okay, well, <laughs> I, I hope the traffic will be controlled. Uh, what doctor just said is that um, the hospital offers two to three free surgery of this type every month. Well, I, I, I think I have to be there to check those who are qualified <laughs> to have this surgery. Okay, that is the much we have on today's edition of the program. But the calls kept on coming. Somebody should come and add to this time. 30 minutes is not enough. Mm? 30 minutes is not enough. Okay, even after the program, you can uh, call him, we'll pick and, and respond to you. Doctor, many thanks for coming on, on, on the show today. And our viewers, uh, a repeat will be on tomorrow by 4.30. And of course, a fresh edition will be here, same time next week. Keep, always keep a date with this program, Stop it, Medical Tourism. Whatever they are doing there in abroad, we can also do it even better. Until I come away again, bye for now. <laughs>